हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ सुभाष नागर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल हाई स्कूल सोलापुर एस आर वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस सेशन ऑफ टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट फर्स्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन अ क्वेश्चन बैंक प्रिपेयर बाय दिस एस सी आर टी द टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज साइंटिफिक रीजन्स द टॉपिक्स कवर्ड आर केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड एक्वेशंस एपेक्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट एंड हीट दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए Let us start with this. Write scientific reasons. Two marks. Question are there. First, previously eighteen questions we have been discussed in the previous video. Now we start with the next three topics. Always paint door and windows before using them. Grills of doors and windows are generally made up of iron metal. Before painting. Iron metal is in direct contact with the moisture in the atmosphere. Moist air attacks the surface of iron metal and causes rusting that is the corrosion of the iron. Contact between iron and moist air can be avoided by applying paint on grills of doors and windows. This prevents rusting and protects them from damage. Hence grills of doors and windows are always painted before they are used. It is recommended to use airtight container for storing oil for long time. When edible oil is left aside for long time, it undergoes air oxidation. Due to this, the taste and smell of oil changes and it becomes rancid. If food is cooked in this oil, its taste also changes. Thus, the oil will become unfit for consumption. The process of oxidation reaction of oil can be shown slowed down by storing it in a airtight container. Hence it is recommended to use airtight container for storing oil for long time. When the gas formed heating the limestone is passed through the freshly prepared lime water the lime water turns milky. When limestone is heated calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas are formed. CaCO3 that is calcium carbonate plus heat that gives you CO that is calcium oxide plus CO2 carbon dioxide is released when this released carbon dioxide gas is passed through freshly prepared lime water the solution turns milky due to the formation of calcium carbonate which is insoluble in water so this calcium hydroxide in the aqueous state CaOH twice plus CO2 gas carbon dioxide it gives you cacio3 that is calcium carbonate plus h2 that is water it takes time for piece of shahabadi tile to disappear in scl but its powder disappears rapidly the rate of chemical reaction depends upon the size of the reactant particles taking part in the reaction smaller the size of the reactant particle higher is the rate of reaction so the size of reactant particles is more in pieces of shahabadi tiles as compared to powder of shahabadi tile when hcl is added to pieces of the shahabadi tile the co2 efference is, is formed slowly however when hcl is added to shahabadi powder the co2 efference is formed at a faster rate hence it takes time for pieces of shahabadi tile to disappear in hcl but its powder disappears rapidly in practice the unit of kwh kilowatt hour is used for measurement of electrical energy rather than joule electrical energy is nothing but electrical power into time for practical applications devices consuming high electrical power are used over a period of time this leads to heavy expenditure of electrical energy so to measure such value of energy unit joule is significantly small hence unit kwh that is kilowatt hour is used in practice so unit 1 kilowatt hour represents power of 1 kilowatt used for 1 hour and equals to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule tungsten metal is used to make a solenoid type coil in an electric bulb electric bulb works on the principle of heating effect of electric current the solenoid type coil of bulb has high side resistivity and very high melting point when current is passed through the bulb solenoid type coil of bulb gets heated 
to high temperature that is up to 3400 degrees celsius and starts glowing hence tungsten metal is used to make a sunlight type coil in an electric bulb for electric power transmission copper or aluminum wire is used copper and aluminum contains a large number of free electrons these free electrons can move throughout conductor easily this results into copper and aluminum having low value of resistivity thus copper and aluminum are good conductors of electricity and offer low resistance to the flow of current hence copper or aluminum are used for electric power transmission nowadays mcbs are used in home for stop the current in the circuit which is suddenly increases electrical appliances used in home like geyser heater motor oven washing machine etc have high power consumptions if such appliances are connected simultaneously a large amount of current flows in the circuit this current may exceed permissible value and cause overloading hence nowadays mcbs miniature circuit breakers are used at in homes to stop the current in the circuit which suddenly increases due to overloading a coil made up of alloy nichrome is used in the electric heater cooker as a resistor the electric heater cooker works on the principle of heating effect of electric current alloys such as nichrome as compared to metals have high resistivity unlike metals they can be heated to higher temperature hence a coil made up of alloy nichrome is used in the electric heater cooker as a resistor it is beneficial to carry electrical energy in reverse form as it is carried over long distances there is a minimum power loss when electrical energy is carried over long distances in the form of ac hence it is beneficial to carry electrical energy in ac form as it is carried over long distances in cold regions that is in winter the pipes are water supply breaks in cold region as temperature reaches below 4 degrees celsius water instead of contracting gets expanded due to its anomalous behavior as temperature decreases from 4 degrees celsius to 0 degrees celsius volume of water increases continuously at the same time metal pipes carrying water undergoes contracts as a result pipes experience force supplied by water and break even if boiling water is constantly heated its temperature does not rise the heat energy absorbed at a constant temperature during transformation of liquid into a gas is called the latent heat of vaporization when heat is supplied to boiling water it is used to weaken the bonding between molecules of water causing transformation from liquid state to gas state that is steam as the heat supplied is utilized for the change of state entirely temperature of water does not change use a pressure cooker to cook food in cold air normally in cold air more heat energy needs to be supplied to attain high temperature required for cooking food it also consumes more time whereas pressure cooker operates by giving out the air within the cooker and trapping steam produced from the liquid mostly water boiling inside due to high internal pressure boiling water point of this liquid increases and liquid boils at temperature higher than the boiling point so the increased boiling point allows more absorption of heat by liquid and steam form is superheated causing food to get cooked quickly hence it is advisable to use a pressure cooker to cook food in the cold in the cold region snow falls in winter snow is formed high in the clouds from water vapor in cold regions when the temperature is extremely low water vapor freezes around smoke or dust particles forming ice crystals when these ice particles combine with each other they turn heavy and starts falling to the ground this gives rise to snowfall in cold regions in winter the bottom of some steel utensils used for cooking is copper 
Copper is a better conductor of heat as compared to steel. Also, copper can conduct faster than steel. As a result, copper bottom gets heated faster than steel. This reduces the time for cooking as well as saves heat energy and fuel. Hence, the bottom of the some steel utensils used for cooking is copper. Drops of water can be seen accumulating on the glass of wheels in the early hours of winter. When temperature of air, air at early hours in winter falls, air becomes uh, saturated with vapor. As a result, the excess vapor condenses on surface of the object in the form of dew. When the dew settles on a glass of vehicles, drops of water accumulating on glass can be seen. During winter season, uh, we have observed a right, a white tail at the back of flying high in the clear sky or sometimes it may not get form. The ratio of actual mass of vapor content in the air for a given volume and temperature to that required to make the air saturated with vapor at the temperature is called relative humidity. The white tail is basically the vapor released by a aeroplane engine condensing in sky to form a cloud. If the relative humidity of surrounding air is more than we get to observe this white tail at the back of the aeroplane flying high in the clear sky. If the relative humidity of the surrounding air is less than either small sized white tail may get form or it may not get form at all. Fish can survive even in frozen ponds in cold regions. In cold climate, temperature of water in ponds and uh, lakes start falling. On getting colder, water con contracts. As a result, the density of the water increases and it goes down. To replace it, warmer water from below rise up. The process continues till temperature of water at the bottom of pond becomes 4 degrees Celsius. Water due to its anomalous behavior possesses maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius. If the temperature lowers further, ice is formed at the surface of the pond with water below it. Ice is a poor conductor of heat, blocks the further heat exchange between the atmosphere and water in the pond. This prevents freezing of water below the surface of ponds or lakes, enabling survival of fishes. Placing a plastic bottle filled with water in the freezing compartment in the freezer can cause the bottle to explode. Temperature of the freezer section in a refrigerator is maintained below 0 degree Celsius. When a plastic bottle filled completely with water is placed in the freezer, the temperature of the water starts falling down. When the temperature of the water reaches 4 degrees Celsius, due to its anomalous behavior, water starts expanding. As the temperature of the water continues to fall up to 4 degrees Celsius, water continues to expand. When water is converted into ice at 0 degrees Celsius, there is an increase in the volume. This exerts pressure on the sides of the bottle. As a result, there is a probability of breaking or exploding of the bottle. Even the wire moves through the ice slab. The ice slab does not break. When the wire with the weights attached uh, to its two ends is placed on the ice slab, its weight acts along very small area of contact between the wire and ice. As a result, pressure gets applied on that part of this ice slab. This lowers the melting point of the ice below 0 degree Celsius and ice is converted into water. So the wire cuts through water and shifts downwards. As the wire uh, displaces pressure applied by the wire on the slab, ice slab vanishes and its melting point is restored to zero degree causing freezing of ice. In this manner, due to the regulation, wire moves through the ice slab completely without breaking it. Friends, I think 
till here you come to know all the uh, scientific reasons prepare additional also uh, in the next video we'll discuss with the remaining scientific reasons of remaining topics thank you for watching this video we will meet soon with the next scientific reasons of the remaining topics till that bye